This is the age of co-pilots. Now, welcome to Ignite. It's our end-to-end co-pilot stack for every organization spans the infrastructure, the foundation models, data, tool chains, and of course, the co-pilot itself. And today, I'll highlight five key themes across everything we're showing you this week. So let's dive right in. I'm excited to announce the general availability of Azure Boost. You know, it's, it's fantastic to see this new system that offloads server virtualization processes onto purpose-built software and hardware. This enables massive improvements in networking, remote storage and local storage throughput, making Azure the best cloud for high-performance workloads while strengthening security as well. Thrilled to introduce our very first custom in-house CPU series, Azure Cobalt, starting with Cobalt 100. <laughs> Cobalt is the first CPU designed by us specifically for the Microsoft Cloud. We have built the most powerful AI supercomputing infrastructure in the cloud using NVIDIA GPUs. And OpenAI has used this infrastructure to deliver the leading LLMs as we speak. In fact, last week, Azure was the largest submission to MLPerf Benchmarking Consortium with 10,000 H100 GPUs, three times more than the previous record, delivering better performance than any other cloud. And in the latest top 500 list of world supercomputers, Azure was the most powerful supercomputer in the public cloud and third all up. Uh, that made news. Uh, what didn't make news is we didn't submit the entirety of our supercomputer. We submitted only a fraction of our supercomputer. So I'm thrilled to be number three. We're announcing our first fully custom in-house AI accelerator, Azure Maya. Starting with Maya 100, designed to running cloud AI workloads like LLM training and inference, this chip is manufactured on a five nanometer process, has 105 billion transistors, make it, making it one of the largest chips uh, that can be made with current technology. And it goes beyond the chip though. You know, we have designed Maya 100 as an end-to-end -end rack for AI, as you can see right here, patient models. These are only possible, of course, because of these advanced systems I talked about. Generative AI models span from trillions of parameter LLMs that require these most powerful GPUs in Azure to a few billion parameter task-specific small language models or SLMs. Uh, and we offer the best selection of frontier models which you can use to build your own AI apps while meeting your specific cost, latency, and performance needs. And it starts with our deep, deep partnership with OpenAI. They're just doing stunning breakthrough work to advance the state of AI models, and we are thrilled to be all in on this partnership together. Uh, and our promise to you is simple. As OpenAI innovates, we will deliver all of that innovation as part of Azure AI. And we are bringing the very latest of GPT-4, including GPT-4 Turbo, GPT-4 Turbo with Vision, to Azure OpenAI service. Yeah, we can clap for that. <laughs> so, all in on open source and want to bring the best selection of open source models to Azure and do so responsibly. Our model catalog has the broadest selection of models already, and we are adding even more to our catalog with a new models as a service offering in Azure. You know, this, yeah, it is a big deal. <laughs> it makes it simple. Because this will allow you to get access to these large models that are all available uh, in open source as just hosted APIs. We should be partnering with Meta on this. It starts with Llama 2 as a service. You can fine tune Llama 2 with your data to help the model understand your domain better and generate more accurate predictions. Uh, we want to support models 
in every language and in every country. And we are partnering to, with Mistral to bring their premium models as a service, as well as with Group 42 to bring JS, the world's highest quality Arabic language model, again, just as a service. Now, when we talk about open source, there's one more very exciting thing that's happening in this space, and that is SLMs. Microsoft loves SLMs. In fact, one of the best is Phi, a model that is built by Microsoft Research on highly specialized data sets, which can rival models that are even 50 times bigger. In fact, Phi 1.5 uh, has only 1.3 billion parameters, but nonetheless, you know, it just demonstrates state-of-the-art performance against benchmarks testing things like common sense, language understanding, and logical reasoning. And today, I am thrilled to announce 5.2. Today, we are expanding our partnership by bringing NVIDIA's generative AI foundry service to Azure. Uh, to share more, I would like to invite up on stage the NVIDIA founder, president, CEO, Jensen Wong, to join me. It's great seeing you. Thank you. And so we are going to be augmented by Microsoft Copilots. And uh, if you think that NVIDIA is moving fast now, <laughs> you know, we are, we are going to be turbocharged by Copilot. Today, leveraging what NVIDIA core assets are, our AI expertise, our AI end-to-end -end workflow, NVIDIA AI Enterprise, and uh, our AI factories, which is now available on Azure called DGX Cloud. Uh, we are going to make these, built on these three pillars, help customers build their own custom large language models. We are going to do for uh, people who want to build their own proprietary large language models uh, what TSMC does for us. Yeah. It's fantastic. Right? And so uh, we'll be a foundry for AI models. Yeah, no, it's Thank you so much Thank for you, your sir. deep partnership. Thank All you. Right. Jensen Wong. All right, so let's go one more layer up the stack to data. You know, it's perhaps one of the most important considerations, because in some sense, there is no AI without data. Microsoft Fabric brings all your data as well as your analytic workloads into this one unified experience. Uh, Fabric has been our biggest data launch, perhaps since SQL Server, and the reception to the preview has been just incredible. 25,000 customers are already using it. Uh, and today, I am thrilled to announce the general availability of Microsoft Fabric. With Azure AI Search, we have built a first-class vector search plus state-of-the-art re-ranking technology, right? Delivering this very high-quality responses, much beyond what you can just get from a vanilla vector search. Uh, in fact, just last week, uh, when OpenAI moved uh, some of their APIs, like their agent API, uh, from a standalone vector database, uh, for ChatGPT to Azure AI Search, they sought un unbelievable scale benefits, and it's fantastic to see this now powering ChatGPT. Now let's move up the stack and talk about how we are reimagining all of the core applications in this era of AI. Let's move up to the very top of the stack, which is the Microsoft Copilot. Our vision is pretty straightforward. We are the co-pilot company. We believe in a future where there will be a co-pilot for everyone and everything you do. Microsoft Copilot is that one experience that runs across all our surfaces, understanding your context on the web, on your device, and when you're at work, bringing the right skills to you when you need them. Just like Say today you boot up an operating system to access applications or a browser to navigate to a website. You can invoke a co-pilot to do all these activities and more, to shop, to code, to analyze, to learn, to create. We want the co-pilot to be everywhere you are. It starts with search, which is built into co-pilot and brings the context of the web to you. Search as we know of it, 
is changing and we are all in. Bing Chat is now Copilot. It's a standalone destination and it works wherever you are, on Microsoft Edge, on Google Chrome, on Safari, as well as mobile apps coming to, soon to you. Weeks ago, we announced the general availability of Copilot for Microsoft 365. It can reason across the entirety of the Microsoft graph. That means all the information in your emails, calendar, meetings, chats, documents, and answer and complete tasks. You will be able to use both plugins and GPTs in Copilot to tailor your experience. And it goes beyond that. You will, of course, need you to tailor your co-pilot for your very specific needs, your data, your workflows, as well as your security requirements. No two business processes, no two companies are going to be the same. And that's why today we're announcing Copilot Studio. Copilot Studio, you can build custom GPTs, create new plugins, orchestrate workflows, monitor, in fact, your co-pilot performance, manage your customizations, and much, much more. For example, Bayer has built a plugin so that their researchers can use natural language to ask Copilot about crop science models and their suitability for new projects right within teams. Uh, as they accelerate the development and delivery of their products to farmers, right? This idea that you build co-pilots, you use them as plug-in inside of the Microsoft Copilot, also t and Teams is going to be one of the powerful patterns that will play out in the years to come. These are just a few of the 100 plus announcements we'll make during the conference. But I want to close out by talking about the arc of innovation going forward in two critical areas. AI and mixed reality and AI and quantum. AI is not just about natural language as an input. Of course, it starts with language, but it goes beyond that to see, to hear, to interpret, and make sense of our intent and the world around us. It's pretty amazing when you bring these two powerful technologies together. And this stuff is real today. In fact, it's being deployed in preview with Siemens Energy, Chevron, Nova Nordisk. Uh, so it's great to see the power, and I think that this is going to be even more powerful in the years to come. The other area I want to talk about is the convergence of quantum computing and AI. We're doing with Azure Quantum Elements. In fact, we've built a new model architecture called Graphformers for this very purpose. Just like large models can generate text, you will be able to generate entirely new chemical compounds. Just imagine if you can compress 250 years of progress in chemistry and material science into the next 25 years. That's truly using the power of AI to change the pace of science. In this example, I'm just using a Python notebook. I mean, think about it. Just a Python notebook with quantum elements to discover a new coolant. A process that would have taken three years if we just used traditional computational techniques, but it probably takes nine hours now. Uh, I can reason over these results with a co-pilot, narrow them down, find the most promising candidates. Uh, using quantum elements, any scientist can design novel new molecules with unique properties for developing more sustainable chemicals, drugs, advanced materials, or batteries. And this is just the very beginning. In parallel, we're also making progress on quantum computing because quantum will ultimately be the real breakthrough for speeding up all these simulations. In fact, just last week, we announced the strategic collaboration with Photonic to expand this full stack quantum approach that we have taken to quantum networking. Photonic's novel spin photon architecture natively supports quantum communication over standard telecommunication uh, wavelengths. And so combining that infrastructure and bringing it right into Azure takes us one more step closer to the promise of quantum networking and computing inside of Azure. It's about making that impossible possible. I want to leave you with a video of Anton, a developer from Ukraine who shares his story of how Copilot has empowered him 
Thank you all so very much. Enjoy the rest of Ignite. Let's roll the video. Thank you. My name is Anton and I'm from Ukraine. As a freelance developer living with cerebral palsy, tasks like typing and speaking can be difficult, which limits my ability to communicate effectively. I realized early on that I was different from others and encountered discrimination and inequality at a young age. I always inform my clients about my disability. Moreover, I present it as an advantage because it provides me with extensive experience in solving complex and unconventional problems for the betterment of our lives.